In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make four options 3D infographic slide in PowerPoint. You can see here I've added four options with gradient fill and each option uh, comes with a different color combination. Here comes the option one. You can add your detail, uh, the text here along with the title and then I have added the icon on top of this option one. Then the option two, you can add the icon here and the detailed text. So for each option, I have given different color and I have made one more slide where I have given only two colors. You can see here. So whichever way you feel better, you can just uh, use it. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. And a new slide, go to insert shapes from the rectangle, select the rectangle here, draw a small rectangle, maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes select the right triangle draw the triangle the same size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give a different color then go to rotate i can just say flip vertical and then i'm just going to flip horizontal you can see here this much size i can just reduce it and then press ctrl d and put it at the top and make sure that it is properly aligned now i'm going to select the blue rectangle hold the shift key select the right triangle only the bottom one don't select the top one then go to format merge shape you can just say union and then Hold the shift key again, select this right triangle and merge shape. I can just say subtract. So you end up getting this shape. Then I'm just going to place it here and then press control D to duplicate. Let me just change the color. Then rotate. I can flip horizontal, put it here and just increase the size. You can see here, just increase the size to touch the right side of the slide. Now I'm going to add the gradient colors for that select this right mouse click go to format shape and select the gradient fill. So I'm using uh, two uh, stops only the first stop you can select it and you can go to the more colors and you can choose any color of your choice and here also you can just choose any color of your choice for example maybe I want to give something like this here and then Make sure the type is linear and the direction you can just select this or the other one left or right and then using the format painter I'm just going to copy it here and just change the direction you can see here the moment I change the direction it looks something like this so the dark color is here now now I'm going to select both these objects press ctrl G to group it then ctrl D to duplicate it bring it up here then go to format rotate you can just say flip horizontal and put it exactly here something like this then i'm going to select this again go and change the color of your choice maybe i can give this color with the color combination of light teal color something like this and then using the format painter i'm just going to copy it here and then I'm just going to change the direction. So this is the second option. Then press Ctrl D. I'm going to add the third option. And Ctrl D. I'm going to add the fourth option. Now if you want you can retain these two colors. Or you can give individual colors to each option. Now I'm going to fill these gaps. For that go to insert shapes. Select a rectangle. Draw a rectangle. You can see here. Shape outline. Make it no outline. And give as black color. And then just say send to back. So you can see here this we have filled. Press ctrl D. I'm just going to put it here. And this also I'm going to send this to back. Again ctrl D to duplicate. Bring the other side this also i'm going to send this to back and ctrl d one more time for the last one just drag it till the last and this also you can just send this to back 
and make sure that it is properly aligned you can give some shadow effect for that go to insert shapes select the triangle draw the triangle shape outline make it no outline and shape will make it black and then you can increase the transparency level and then go to format and just rotate it flip vertical and bring it here right mouse click edit points and just drag it like this you can see here and this one just say send back press ctrl d to duplicate just add one here this also just say send back let me just undo this and i'm going to arrange it properly and then press ctrl d this is for this one and you can just adjust it or right mouse click edit point you can just adjust it and this also just say format send back so you can see here we have given the shadow effects also to add the text go to insert text box i'm going to add option one white font make it center align i'm going to change the font to century gothic make it bold increase the size and then i'm going to give some shadow effect then go to text options here effects from the 3d rotation i'm just going to put this one here you can see here this is off axis left and this is off axis right so this one i've just put it and then press ctrl d to duplicate it this is one more ctrl d i'm going to add this one here and then change the direction to off axis one right again ctrl d you can just put it here also so this is one this will be two this is three and this is four and then you can add the detailed text here again the same font i'm going to use century gothic and then the same thing go to text options effects and then i'm just going to change this one to this press ctrl d i'm going to add it here also ctrl d then this one you have to change to this you can see here and press ctrl d add it one more here so you can see here our basic design is ready and if you have the icons just go to insert icons select four icons of your choice maybe let me just give some icons and insert you can see here these four icons we have created it's added go to format and give the height and width as 0.5 or 0.6 and then i'm just going to add one by one so before that let me just change the color to white i'm just going to select by holding the shift key and go to format make it white and then i'm just going to add one by one here you can see here so all this icons has been added that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye